algebra tiles can be used to find the factors of various polynomials. If we can take the components of a polynomial and arrange them in a rectangle that has dimensions other than one in itself, then the polynomial is factorable. To start, we gather the appropriate tiles. We want to take two of the x tiles and eight of the one tiles. When the tile is selected and we hold our control key down, we are able to copy it. So we're going to gather those tiles, two of these x tiles. And then we need eight one tiles and we want to form a rectangle. So there's one, two, Hold my shift key down to get a couple more. There are four of them. Hold my shift key down to duplicate them again. And we have eight tiles. So 2x plus 8 can be factored into x plus 4 by 2. To check your work, just take the 2 times the x plus 4. Distributive property gets us 2x plus 8, our original expression. To factor 3x plus 9, we would need 3 of the positive x tiles, and then we would need 9 of the positive 1 tiles and we would organize them into a rectangle, then write the dimensions of the rectangle. To factor x squared minus 5, we would need an x squared tile, and 5 negative x tiles. Then we determine the dimensions. This side is x, this side is x minus 5, so our result is x times x. All right, these two examples are a little bit more complex. We have an x squared plus a total of 5x's, plus a total of 6 1's. So we have a trinomial, and it can be factored into x plus 2, so each of these have a dimension of 1, by x plus 3. And if we FOIL x plus 2 by x plus 3 out, we get our original trinomial. Likewise, this one is x squared minus a total of 3x's plus 2. It can be factored into x minus 2. by x minus 1. And again, foiling it out, x squared, outsides negative x, insides negative 2x, last positive 2, gets us x squared minus 3x plus 2. In this example, we are factoring x squared plus 5x plus 4. So we grab our x squared. We need 5x's and then 4 1's. Many times I will drop my 1's in here and decide which way they, they need to go to help me get 5 of the x's in place. So if I put 2 here and 2 here, I'll get 2x's and 2x's, and that will get me 4 of them. But if I go sideways, 
to get four ones this way, then I know I'm going to need a total of four X's here. And I can get my fifth X down here. So the whole goal is to make a rectangle. So my result X plus four by X plus one. In our last example, we are factoring x squared minus 2x minus 8. So if I start out with my minus 2x, and then want to grab my negative 8 ones, to make this rectangle work, I'm already running into problems because I don't know what to do with all of my 8 one negative one tiles. So this is a situation where you have to introduce what's called zero pairs. Because in order to, as long as we add the same values as we subtract, we haven't changed the polynomial. We haven't changed the trinomial. We've only modified its contents. So as you can see, we need to be able to fill out this rectangle, so we're going to add two more negative x's here. But if I add two negative x's, I'm also going to need to add two positive x's, so I'm not changing the overall value of the trinomial. And this makes sense because a negative 1 times a positive 1 gets me a negative 1. So my result is x minus 4 by x plus 2. To practice this yourself, go to SysTree.com and download the Factoring Trinomials Worksheet.